Call us. 844-MOJO-LIVE. 844-665-6548. This is Mojo in the Morning. Mojo in the Morning, War of the Roses. Boy, just looking at texts that are coming in. Not a lot of people are believing them. Eric, you don't believe them? No, I don't believe him. See, he tried pretty good, you know, with one of the roses for his mother and saying he's sticking out Drew for his girlfriend. I've been there. I pulled the trick. I know how the trick goes. So you've actually cheated before, and you think that this is something that uh, that he's doing? Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, this is a cover-up, you know. I mean, if his girlfriend believes that she, he was with some blonde, she's the true blonde if she believes that. Yeah, I guess oh. girls are a little smarter wow. than to say, well, he's just shopping for me for a gift. Stan, is Stan still there? Uh-huh. Stan, I want you to stay there on the phone for a second because Michelle's got an interesting question here that uh, she wants to ask. Go ahead. What's your question? I would just ask Stan if um, he purchased a gift for me, then give it to me now. Oh, it's it, like present the gift now? Present the gift now, yep. yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stan, did you hear that? Yeah. So if you bought Monica a gift, you have then proof that you bought her that gift with the receipt and the actual gift. I mean, I don't know if I kept the receipt. But uh, but definitely, definitely the gift, yeah. But it would be on your credit card statement, right? I guess it would. You know, you know. I think I paid. I think I paid in cash. Okay. Well, here's what we would like to know. And we talked to Monica about this. Would you be willing to show her today that gift oh, and God. and the proof that you bought that gift with this girl? To prove that you're not out hanging out with some girl in the middle of the day. That you know, did I have to prove that? I, think I, be the, I shouldn't have to prove something like that. She should trust me. But that would be the best gift is to relieve her mind, you know? Monica, what do you think of that? That sounds good because I don't know who this girl is. Okay, but here's the thing. And I'm playing devil's advocate. Because he doesn't have a receipt yeah. or a credit card statement, he could just go out and buy a gift today. How do we know that it was actually bought? Well, I think that, that he. I, I think you have to come up with some kind of receipt. You know, I think you guys are putting me on the spot. I mean, I already answered the questions right that you asked me. What questions? The questions of who you'd send the flowers to? Yeah. Yeah, but you knew it was me. Of course, you're going to send them to Monica. Well, I mean, this whole thing is just a, you're, you're just trying to attract me publicly in front of Monica. No, no, no. no. But we're, we're, here's what we're trying to do. We're trying to relieve Monica's fears that you might be cheating. And, and you know what? I don't know if you're a cheater or not a cheater, but I think a great way to prove that you're not a cheater is to prove that that was an innocent thing that took place at the mall. Would you be so willing? What you're asking is that I give her her Christmas gift, ruin the surprise. At this point, I don't think she's worried about the surprise. I'll tell you this. You prove it to her, we'll give you a gift card for whatever store you want to and the amount of how much you spent, and you can buy her another gift. Yeah. All right, so you have to prove it that you actually bought it at that time, whether it be through receipt or this girl from work coming on with us, too, Come to on. tell us. I mean, we, we both know it. No, no, no. Here's, here's, here's the thing, Stan. You have an easy out here. Your easy out is you have a receipt or you have a girl who's an innocent coworker of yours that's willing to, you know, corroborate your story. I will do. Jenna, you believe him? I believe him. He's cheating. He didn't know what he was just watching. Why wouldn't he have given her a kiss? Why would he just give her a hug? So, oh, Maybe it's in the beginning stages. Maybe. Maybe it's in for your friendship, but I don't think he's cheated yet. Spencer, hi. Hey, what's going on? What's up, buddy? What do you want to say? Um, I just want to say that uh, this, Stan is the man. I like. I feel like you guys. He got. He's gotten around every single question you guys have asked. He's had like a good reason uh, for everything you've asked. So you believe? Like, you believe him? I, I believe. I believe that he is an honest guy. Spencer, okay. my I, naive I just, little Spencer. I feel like this girl is thinking way too, like, way too much. Felicia, what do you think of Spencer saying Stan is the man? I think that's totally bullcrap because if he wasn't lying about what he was doing, he wouldn't be so defensive and so deflective when you first asked him the question in the first place. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lindsay? Yeah. Brings up a great point. What do you think? Um, 
If he really wanted to know what to get her and what she liked, he would have made arrangements for a close friend because her friend would know that yes. would be more intimate for her. She would feel more special than yes. he. Not somebody that he she doesn't even know who doesn't right. know anything about her. Right. Because, they never you know, met her before. Because the jewelry, the people that are selling the jewelry, the women there would have enough opinion. And he could get a second opinion, but not from a coworker. Yes. Yeah. yeah good point. Mojo in the morning. Hello. Good morning. How you doing? Good, Paul. What do you think? Well, he had me in the beginning on his side. Then when he started getting shaky about his answers about the no receipts, oh, no, it's not on my credit card, it's on my cash. Yeah, he started losing me. Because I had done the same thing many years ago. Oh, explain. Well, I had a girlfriend. And, you know, I was young at the time. And uh, I had basically had a friend, you know, go to the mall with me and do the Christmas shopping. Because I wasn't going in the girl sections alone. Yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, that was it. I wasn't going looking for girl stuff at that time. It was like, Why? But, but, but Shannon so brought up an, Shannon yeah. brought up a really good point, though. What do you think some strange girl is gonna, you know, know, know your girl about, that yeah. well? I'm sorry. What, what, Shannon brought up a really good point. Why would you bring just some strange girl with you shopping? Uh, she doesn't know your girl. I just wanted a female in the female section. Now you're shaking like yeah. he's shaking. But right that's now. what the employees <laughs> who work in those sections are for to help give you advice should you need it. No, I am not. I was not at that time. I was not walking in Victoria's Secret, any other old girl store, stores by myself. Sorry, I wasn't. But the, I, you I can would, shop online. I would be much more worried being seen with a random strange girl than being seen alone. I mean, they have well, they have men cool shoppers worker. all the time. Like they, no, they no, you don't no, think men sure. ever go in there and shop fun. for their women? Well, now I'm forced to, but back then I never, you know, I had a choice. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, Paul. I, I, I mean, I see your point, but I also, you know, think that. In the beginning, he was all right. But the fact is, no receipt. Oh, I don't know receipt is. Oh, well, you know, show a credit card safe. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I right. paid with a credit card. Yeah. I mean, you don't know. You don't know how you pay. Well, <laughs> that's when he lost me. Right. Okay. So I flipped on that one when he didn't know how he paid. <laughs> Thanks for the call, buddy. I appreciate it. What's happening, Rhonda? Uh, good morning. Now, listen. What if he took this girl to go shopping for a, an engagement ring? He's not going to go to her close friend because a close friend can blow that surprise out of the water. He may want to propose to her on Christmas Day. You guys are asking him to give the gift right now. That may not be his plan. Well, That's the, exactly what I was the, thinking. But the cat's out of the bag. If he's already being accused of cheating and she's nervous... I think at that point I'm going to have to let her in on the secret. Oh yeah, absolutely. Because we didn't we didn't spoil the so, secret. She already knew something was going on, and wait, she's the one worried that he's cheating. So Rhonda and Megan, you guys think that we maybe blew a proposal? Yeah. Well, no, well, I totally thought. Well, a second, did she did she uh, did she think he was cheating prior to him being caught in the mall with? Him? Uh, there was a little bit of stuff that was mm-hmm. going on. Yeah, there's a backstory. Oh. Okay, because I was yeah. going to say, you know, guys aren't that great at picking out jewelry. I mean, I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to insult you, but... Oh, we agree. You know, maybe he's wanted the woman's <laughs> point of view of what... But nowadays, for. you don't just go pick it out by yourself. You bring your girl with. There's no surprises anymore nowadays. I, I don't disagree. know. I disagree. I think yeah. there's surprises still, but... I think there can be. You picked out your ring for Allie by yourself. Uh, I, I did, actually. I went with some coworkers, but I didn't take any of her friends because I also... What needed... female coworkers mm-hmm. did you uh, go with, Mike? Huh? Uh, her name's Kelly Stecco. <laughs> <laughs> Mike is, huh? Uh, we... <laughs> Not gonna call Mike anymore now. It's Stan. But I also don't think it's weird to like talk about it at work and say, "Hey, this is what I'm planning on doing." And having a girl that you know there go, "Oh my God, a can I either go with you, or do you need help, or right. mm-hmm. do you know what she likes? These are the styles that are in right now." Mm-hmm. I think it's a really overwhelming situation. I don't think this is sketchy. Hey, what's going on, Jackie? It's Mojo in the morning. Hey, I, you know, I just wanted to say they should. They need to trust their intuition. She needs to trust her gut. She feels like something's going on and her trust is already kind of wavering. I mean, odds are the relationship really might not be meant to be. And, you know, and that's okay. I mean, I've caught um, a, a previous boyfriend cheating before and I had a, an instinct and I followed through and it was true. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not saying that that is for their situation, but I'm saying 
Usually a woman's intuition is correct. And we don't know the guy like Monica knows the guy, but he was answering pretty shaky, not just about the circumstances of being a secret buying the ring, but the way he was answering everything about the credit card and everything else. Let's see if it, this happens. Let's see if he comes back before the end of the show today to prove to us mm -hmm. what he purchased, and then we will give him you know, the gift card or whatever cash equivalent uh, to, uh, to be able to go out and to make a, uh, a surprise purchase for Monica. So I, I think that it sounds shady. Spike, you think it's shady? Absolutely. And when Shannon's mm -hmm. shady. By the mm -hmm. time these stories get to Where the Roses on the air on a Thursday, we've already have a, a backlog of evidence and things that led to us believing it's already going to be one of these situations that we should take it to the final step and do War of the Roses. It's not like we just randomly call any guy with any any email that comes in. I mean, we do a little work to see, does this deserve putting this guy on blast to begin with? It just proves Megan and Mike are a little naive. I so, don't think so. I don't no. Know. Mm -hmm. I'm it's just your opinion. Uh, I'm, worried. Yeah, it's just, opinion. I'm very worried that it is a ring and that we did just ruin that because I wouldn't be able to go, uh, you know what, I want to make you feel better about this and I'm going to ruin the surprise because if it is a ring, he's built it up this long. Well, let's find out by the end of the show. Hopefully uh, he answers that and we'll see what, uh, what the story